How's it going everyone? It's FC Fitness here. We are here at Fratton Park to see Portsmouth against Shrewsbury. I'm here with Tom Aldo and guess what he did? Whilst I was out getting cash from the cash machine, he met the legendary Steve Cottrell, who I obviously did a video on a while ago. This is very exciting. We're back at a capacity game. So <laughs> it's been a long time. The Football League capacity game is going to be fantastic. So Portsmouth were founded in 1898. They have won two first division titles, one second division title and three third division titles, along with two FA Cups. We all remember the one they won in 2008. Their manager is Danny Cowley. A bit of trivia, they're the only English club in professional football that are not located on the mainland of Great Britain. As Portsmouth FC and the city of Portsmouth are both located on Port Sea Island. So let's take a look inside Fratton Park. I love this game. Got me vegan sausage roll, as Boris would call it here. Not too bad, but I wish it wasn't cold, but that's all right. There you go, it's Tom. Nice. So it's stone cut more stone cold than Steve Austin, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> that man there with the ball in his arm and grey hair, that's his former Burnley goalkeeper, Brian Jensen. It's strange because like when um when Paul's were in the Premier League, everyone said this was like a rubbish stadium. I actually quite like it, I've never been before. But I think they're basically saying it's not a good Premier League stadium. I think it's a good ground. I just think like maybe they do have a bit of updating because you've got like the pillars and stuff which are really out of date. But no, no, I quite like it here. Quite a nice stadium. So Finley wants me to give some of my thoughts. I think this is a really nice stadium. It's a really nice sausage roll. And I think both of the teams have got a good chance of a high scoring game. Back to you, Finnis. piece of play, Ryan Tunnicliffe, former Manchester United player, has put it into the net, slid into the corner, Ports have been all over them, very fair reflection of the soul. Glad we're not seeing a nil-nil. Let's see if there's more goals. It's about 20 odd minutes in and it's still been all Portsmouth. Truth have had like the odd venture forward, but it's just not happening for them. Portsmouth are just all over them. Foul, Shrewsbury player brought down just as they go on the attack. I don't think he's going to get sent. If he got sent off, he would have by now. It's a yellow. Later in the game, that will be the Shrewsbury have a chance now. I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, so Shrewsbury missed that chance again. Yeah, going back to what I said, Ports have been all over them. They've had all the ball. They're creating all the chances. And like Shrewsbury have ventured for, but it's just not happening for them. Shrewsbury is so open at the back. It's unbelievable. Yeah, like Ports have keep getting the ball that wide and you feel like it's only a matter of time before they're going to score more. As it stands, I can't see anything happening for Shrewsbury and the ports are all over. The fantastic atmosphere, and I'm really enjoying being back. Half time, 1 0 sports, but and yeah, it's just like it's, it's been a decent game so far. There's a lot of like promising attacks. It's just it's just a moment with Shrewsbury. They're like, it's been about three or four times where they just had the ball, like they've got a throw in or something. I'm really fortunate in it. And then they just take it. Possession immediately goes back to Portsmouth. But if anyone is going to get enough goal, it's going to be Portsmouth realistically, unless Steve Cottrell gives Shrewsbury a stern talking to, which I'm sure he would. But we'll have to see how much of an effect it has. But it's been, like I said, it's been fantastic being back in the grounds. But yeah, I feel like it could be a very different second half, but it could mean just Portsmouth are more clinical. But yeah, half time, 1 0. Full time, it did finish 1-0 to Portsmouth, but I must say, Shrewsbury 
something happens and like with the last 50 minutes they were just creating chance after chance we just couldn't quite get it in but I must say like really impressive for them to like turn it on when they've been dominated for so much of the game I think both teams just lacked that clinical edge both teams they created chances but they just didn't have someone to finish it off that was a good game that was good fun and we're back in the stadium you can hear this noise again it's great it's like it feels my life in the back and I got 13.44 points the fans. It's great to be back. So I thought that was a really good game, actually. Um, I thought that Portsmouth started it well, but Shrewsbury grew into the game as the game went on. Um, I think 1-0 was probably a fair result. And it's always nice coming to Portsmouth. Back to you, Finnish. Thank you, Tom Alva. So, that was Stratton Park, home of Portsmouth FC, aka Pompey. And that was a good game. Very, like, a lot of chances from both sides. We should have seen more than one goal. But I really enjoyed that. And, like, Portsmouth fans put on a great atmosphere. That was really refreshing to listen to after a year. We've had just hearing them sing play at Pompey when we've been out of stadium for so long. I generally got emotional in the first half hearing that. But I'm absolutely delighted to have been to this stadium at long last. I've heard a lot about it. So, join us again next time as we go ground to ground AFC Finners out